Hello everyone, my name is Kid Lee and welcome to the Empire Datacron Guide for the Planet of Tatooine. The first Datacron is a plus three to mastery and is located in Moss Illa. From the starport you'll want to make your way to the north and then take a left on the main path. I'll go ahead and zoom in and you can see exactly where I've got my character located, sort of in between these main buildings. What you're looking for is a little bit of a rock face, and then there's a little bit of a umbrella stand here. From here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump on these rocks. And we've got a little bit of a jumping adventure here, as that guy right there is hanging out. He thinks he's pretty cool. And we're going to go ahead and get on top of these rocks, and then we want to jump on top of this pole right like that. And then make your way over to this little canopy. Go ahead and mount up if you want to. Over here you see a little bit of a solar array head in this general direction. Do do do. And then there's a little bit of a another building down below. We're going to jump down to this one. And then we need to get onto this white wall over here. So there's a little bit of a path right here. So go ahead and make your way across this wall. You're going to see a little bit of a circle building actually right here if you want to dismount. It can sometimes help out. Go ahead and make your way, come on, don't get stuck there, and go ahead and remount. Next, we need to jump onto this cog, and then jump onto this little wall over here. Oop, let's try that again, shall we? Jump onto the, oh, oh third time's a charm. There, there we go, alright, and we'll jump onto this wall. Alright, on foot mode now. Now from here, you have to jump from this structure, to this pipe, to that wall, okay? And like I've said in my other videos, if you've seen them, never try and do a straight jump. Always try and do an angle jump, because that'll give you a better surface to land on. So we're going to try and jump like this. So angle jump, same here. Don't do a straight jump. We're going to do an angle jump onto here, and then onto the wall. Now, from here, our next jump is pipe, thing on the wall, and then this little gray area over there. All right, so here we go. We're going to get on this ledge here just a little bit. Got to be very careful with this jump. There we go. Again, a little bit of an angle jump here. Go back and forth if you have to. All right, boom. Now for here, make sure you actually aim for the wall. If you aim for this thing directly, you could miss or bounce off. Aiming for the wall. We're going to scoot out, and again, an angle jump. Now, this jump is a, probably the toughest one because you don't have much of a running space. But very quickly, W jump, W jump. Just like that. All right, from here, we'll go ahead and mount back up. Go onto this building very carefully. Make your way over to the back side. And there's a little bit of a path right here. Make sure you don't fall off. We're going to jump down to this one, then over to this building, and oh, there's our Datacron right there. So go ahead and grab your Datacron. The second Datacron is a plus three to mastery and is located in Junland. If you take a look at the map, we've got the Ridgeside Sentry Post, and I've got my character located just to the east of that location. If we go ahead and zoom in, you can see exactly where I've got my character located. What you're looking for is this area right here, and actually you can see the Datacron up on that little uh, rock outcropping. From here, go ahead and mount up, and there's a little bit of a Tusken Raider area over here. You'll see there's a, a red flag over to the right, and they've got a bunch of these little flag things sort of down the center. So you'll want to pass the red flag, pass the first couple, and then head over to the right in this area right here. Once you reach the edge, you're looking for this little rock that sticks out just a little bit. If you want to, go ahead and dismount, and you'll want to very carefully not die and make your way down to this rock. And hopefully we won't die here. Oh, good, we're good. Okay. As you can see here, there is a cave. And what you want to do is simply make your way through the cave. There's a bunch of Tusken Raiders in there. Upon exiting the cave, you can go ahead and grab your Datacron. 
The third Datacron is a plus three to mastery and is also located in the Junland area. For this one, you'll want to make your way all the way over to the west, and you can see that I've got my character located right here. From the main road, there's actually this area right here that will give you access to this area, and this area in particular is actually a heroic area. So right here from the main road, come up this rock face and find your location right here. So right here you can see the heroic area, and we're actually up the hill just a little bit. You'll see these pieces of debris. What you'll want to do is jump over here, and down there you can actually see the Datacron. So just very slowly and carefully make your way down to where this crash ship is, and go ahead and grab your Datacron. The fourth and fifth Datacrons are located both in the Dune Sea and are located together. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the famous Tatooine Balloon Ride. So make your way to the Dune Sea, and it's going to be all the way down here to the southwest, down in this far corner, and you can see where I've got my character located. What you're looking for is a sand crawler that's sort of half buried in the sand. That is going to be step one, and then step two, which is the hard part, and that is going to be waiting for the balloon itself to arrive. Now, as I'm shooting this, you can actually see the balloon is almost here, but even from there to here, we're still looking at about five minutes. The entire round trip of the balloon takes somewhere between about 30 to 40 minutes. So once you actually get onto the balloon, it is going to be a long time of sitting there doing nothing. All right, as you can see, the balloon has finally arrived. We're going to get our shot to jump in the basket here in just a few seconds. If for some reason you actually miss the basket, you should have enough time to run back up here and give it another shot. But you can see it gets pretty darn close. It's going to be hard to miss that. And boom, we are now inside. Now, a couple of things you should know. As I mentioned, this is a very long ride. Make sure you do not accidentally go AFK. Also, make sure that you don't go too close to the edge and then accidentally fall off. The balloon itself has been known to be a little bit buggy. People getting dropped off, the balloon disappearing, all kinds of things. So, the best thing I could recommend is make sure you stay in the center... And just every once in a while, just kind of move your character around like this. You know, in some of the raid fights in particular, they actually say, oh, you should try and bounce up and down a little bit so the game actually recognizes where your character is. I think this is going to be very, very similar. But yep, as long as you're inside the basket, maybe moving around a little bit, don't go AFK, you should be fine. So let's go ahead and see how long this takes. All right, we are slowly approaching the location with the Datacrons. We got probably a good solid five to seven minutes before before we actually get over there. But you can see that one is on top and then one is on the side. We are almost over top of the sand crawler now. You can very carefully, very slowly start making your way to the edge. Now you'll want to make sure that we are right over top of this thing before you drop off. We are not there yet. Not that close. Now I'm going to start doing some precision jumping here where I'm just going up and then forward with W. So I'm trying to get right on the edge here. Right next to this little bar here. We are getting close. I think I want to, I want to jump on this side of the bar. So I'm very close. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, go. Boom. And you see that I didn't jump, I just fell. Okay, go ahead and grab Datacron number one. And we'll go ahead and we'll heal up here. And then I will show you how to get Datacron number two. Because a lot of people miss this next one and they can get kind of mad. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, drop down onto this cylinder right here. And then we're going to drop down right about here. Very careful, everyone. Very slow. 
don't fall off. Now you'll actually notice that there's a little bit of a drop down right there. So what you want to do is position yourself dead center on this and then we're going to use what I call the Kidly pre Precision Drop Method. And it's actually exactly what I was doing on the balloon. Take off of sprint and we're just simply hitting spacebar W, spacebar W. And you can see I inch, I inch, I inch forward. Spacebar W, spacebar W, spacebar W, spacebar W. Boom. And go ahead and grab your second Datacron. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That'll go ahead and do it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you all so much for watching. And with that being said, everybody keep playing and have fun.